Jadron here. What's going on, guys? So you got the Bebop 2. Um, if you've seen my first encounters with the Bebop 2, this battery here had my drone falling out of the sky. Uh, one of the cells was horribly damaged on it. We're just going to go ahead and sit this over here. I'm going to show you how you can charge these batteries off the B6 charger. Uh, balance charge them. This is my second battery. And uh, I fully charged this. I fully charged it off of this here which Banzo is a stock parrot charger um, with the stock cord here which I haven't altered I know a lot of people are altering these cords to make balanced chargers you really don't need to do that there are parts available online it is 2018 you can get parts um, so you don't have to just demolish this uh, and back to what I was saying I charged my uh, battery here my brand new battery off of that and it didn't bring it up to full charge. I tapped it off with my B6 here. You should be able to just see this display. Lipo balance charger. And then we'll just go ahead and get out of there. Um, off of this. And I'm going to show you what I have that I did that with. Hopefully this is a transition. So the first part of this is essentially the same exact plug that uh, the stock one comes with. And then it just comes off here into a balance plug and then all the way left and all the way right your wires all the way left and your wires all the way right you are going to have to tap for a positive and negative as you can see down here my positive and negative I have positive and negative I used a lossy connection just because uh, I have a board right here as you can see um, that I can plug lossy connection into just as well as over here which will move this back just a little bit and uh, we have a balance plug board here so all we need to do I'm moving this back a little bit more that way maybe you can see me plugging everything in and then we'll get close and we'll look at that um, all we have to do is we can go ahead and plug our balance connector in which we want to do that this way plug this into the board okay so balance connectors in there and then this board I have here it's not meant to take these I popped one of these caps off as a positive and negative prong we could just shove the lossy connection in um, hopefully you can see that you should be able to see that you can see right down there that's plugged into the board and then all we got to do is connect our battery so we are going to go ahead and connect our battery these plugs will only fit in one way um, that way you can't mess them up now we're gonna go over here to the B6 now that everything's plugged in you should be able to see that display fairly well um, and maybe we'll get down on it a little bit better there we go now you can definitely see it so what I'm gonna do I'm going to hit stop we're gonna go over to battery meter now 4.2 is a fully charged cell I have two cells that won't fully charged and this has only been uh, used this battery has only been used twice during flight and charged twice off the stock charger I would attribute the 4.19 and the 4.19 to the stock charger um, that it, it, it damaged cells already I mean that's not horribly bad I think we could definitely fly off of this um, and off of the charger we were only at like 4.16 4.17 and my battery sorry about that I have my battery cord stretched so it's flickering out um, but then I put it on here and I did a balance charge by simply uh, going over here to uh, lipo battery lipo balance and then I would just hit start and run it through um, so that's how you do that I'm going to show you um, this one quickly and to switch these out all we have to do is unplug our wire unplug the wire and then go ahead and plug this wire into this one let's go and then we are going to again check our voltage here which hopefully you can see that go over 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 and start 4.19 4.13 4.19 I don't think I'd utilize this battery unless I could get that 4.13 closer to 4.19 but uh, this cell was horribly damaged. Like these ones were close to full and this one was like next to nil. But balance charging it, it has brought these a lot closer. So guys, I'm Jadrone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Any questions, comments, concerns, definitely get at me down below. 
try to brighten this up a little bit for you. And uh, again, what we have here, I'll show you once more, is we have, we have a Bebop end going into a balance connector, then the wires on the outside. You tap into those, just as I did here, where you can see the black electrical tape. One's positive, one's negative. And don't go by your colors. The black one coming off of this is actually my positive, and the yellow one is actually my negative. You think it'd be opposite, but it's not. And then you could put whatever connection you want on the end. I could have put an XT30, XT60, a Dean's connector, whatever, but a lossy connection works for me for the board that I have. Again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I highly suggest balance charging your Bebop batteries because as you were able to see with this one, um, two charges off of the stock charger and uh, we're already 0.1 off of two cells and you saw the one cell on this um, that was horribly damaged. We've kind of recovered it off of the B6, but it's still damaged. All right, guys, later.